No matter where I go, there are always the two same questions I'm being asked. The first one is, so how many languages do you speak? And the second one, how did you learn all of them? Hello there, my name is Mariana and in this video I'll give you a very detailed answer. If you're currently struggling with a foreign language, I hope it will be useful for you. Stay here. I can understand six languages and I'm fluent in four of them. So it will be English, Spanish, Russian and Ukrainian. I also have a great competence in Polish and I speak some French, but I am not fluent in these languages. So let me tell you how I learned every language. Ukrainian is my mother tongue, but at the same time, simultaneously, I learned Russian. And for the record, Russian is not the same language as Ukrainian. They belong to the same language family, but these are two different languages. It's like Spanish and Italian, I would say. I've never been to Russia. I have... Uh, lived almost all my life in the Ukrainian speaking part of Ukraine. I have never met Russian people until the age of 20, but all my life I was reading books, watching movies, listening to the music and doing a lot of a lot of stuff in Russian. Uh, finally at the age of 20 when I met the first Russian people I started speaking it and I was surprised because I could do it. So my tip number one, you have to be consistent. And you have to include this language in your daily routine. Do something in this language every single day. Say, you want to learn Portuguese, so why don't you start watching some cartoons with your kids in Portuguese? Or why don't you put um, Brazilian music on your way to work? If you make the language, a foreign language, a part of your life, you will learn it much easier. So, English. In my country, we start learning English in the first grade, but honestly, I don't know a single person who would become fluent in English just by formal instruction. I mean, um, school or university. Uh, what really helped me with my English was the fact that I accepted the job offer to work as a customer support representative. And uh, basically, it's answering calls, uh, but the calls were from the whole English speaking world. And just imagine the variety of accents. At that moment, I could speak something, but I didn't understand the native speakers at all. It was a huge challenge. It was so... I was struggling. And um, little by little, maybe after one or two or three months, I started understanding uh, people. And after maybe a year, I realized that I have a pretty good command in English. So my tip number two. Put yourself in an uncomfortable situation. Put yourself in a situation where you cannot switch to your native language. It will help you a lot. This is hard, but so far is the best way. It's much easier to travel abroad. Um, you know, when you're traveling, go on the street, you have to ask people, uh, you have to talk to people. If you cannot travel, there is a variety of uh, applications of websites where you can find conversational partners who speak your target language. So I will uh, list some of them in the description and hopefully you will find one. And don't give up because people, um, native speakers of your target language will not laugh at you. They will appreciate, they will respect your efforts and they will most likely help you on your way to reach fluency. This um, work experience helped me with my communicational skills, but what really made me improve my English was the fact that I started teaching it. Right, I was still a learner and I was teaching it. When you're teaching something, you're trying to get the message across in the clearest way and you learn yourself. You repeat what you already know and also go an extra mile and learn. And this is tip number three. If you want to be good at something, teach it. It's not only about languages, it's about literally everything. And once you start passing your knowledge, um, you will realize that you are becoming better and better at it. Now it comes to Spanish. Um, our story with Spanish is quite different. So I started learning it out of boredom. At that time, I was so 
bored and depressed and I had nothing to do so I just randomly started dedicating for like four to five hours a day to Spanish I would uh, do what I like I would um, listen to reggaeton um, I would watch some silly series and uh, doing Duolingo every day the only thing I had no goals no purpose no need for Spanish at that point of my life I was in Ukraine and nothing was happening I was just uh, excited about this language so my tip number four sometimes you have to dejarte llevar <laughs> go with the flow and do what you like uh, a little bit of passion with a pinch of discipline can go a long way the most important rule you have to enjoy it that's what happened to me a few months after I started learning Spanish I almost accidentally uh, went to Spain and since day one I never used even a single English word in Spain I fell in love with the country with the language with the people with everything but I never dared to use English there my Spanish at the time was kind of poor very poor <laughs> but I met some nice people I was lucky to meet some friends who were so patient and who were correcting me and uh, were waiting for me to make up my mind and say that sentence in Spanish and in two months it improved a lot uh, my tip number what was it five my tip number five look for the people who speak that language like friends or boyfriend and girlfriend one of my friends said that having a boyfriend who speaks your target language is like a shortcut to fluency with each conversation uh, you always learn something different because the conversations are never the same and by being 100% immersed in the language with these people the fluency will come naturally use the dating apps use uh, um, language exchanges that there are language exchanges in every city and uh, try to go step outside of your comfort zone if you are already in the environment um, if you for example cannot travel it's not really possible right now you have to look for the foreigners who speak your target language in your city now Polish I used to speak it when I was in high school, I would say, we had some Polish classes at school, at university, um, but I would never enjoy it. I mean, I could get by in the company of people, Polish people. I was feeling mm, quite comfortable when I go to Poland, but I never liked it. So eventually, I, as I'm not living in Poland, I stopped practicing it and I didn't have any friends who would speak that language uh, with me. So I have almost forgotten it. I still understand, but it's kind of, it's impossible for me to speak. So my tip number six, when you learn a language just because you have to, it will probably not work. If you don't live in this country, it will be extremely difficult to keep this language in your head. Fluency is a lifelong process and you have to truly love it, to have some passion, to have some emotions for it. Now French. Honestly, I have a love-hate relationship with this language because, I mean, I've been learning it for so long and nothing would happen like three years uh, in, the uh, in the university, then um, maybe around three private tutors that I had, many online and offline courses, and I still couldn't speak French because there was no sparkle between us. I wasn't excited about this language. It's, it's a beautiful language, but I just wasn't passionate about it. But one day I decided that it would be fun to have a challenge in French, a 30 day challenge. I, of course, I accepted the challenge and I was just uh, doing uh, Duolingo every day. Um, I had to start from the basics, from Bonjour, ça va, because I forgot everything at that point. And um, I was uh, watching one or two episodes of Friends, my favorite series, in French. At first, I couldn't understand anything. I wouldn't know where one word starts and the other one finishes. And um, honestly, it was really challenging. But after one 
no, after one month, right, I went to France and I managed to have some basic conversations with French people for the first time in my life. You can actually see the result in this video. Uh, it's quite, <laughs> it's quite interesting how I struggle in there. Um, after this, after being understood by French people, it was like a drug. I couldn't stop and I didn't stop with French since then. So I have a more than 500 days strike uh, on Duolingo and I finished 10 seasons of France in French and I can proudly say that I understand 90% of it without even putting it much effort. So my tip number seven. Find your own methods to enjoy the language and to learn it. Don't hesitate to drop out of a boring course that you hate. Uh, stop having classes with that boring teacher and keep looking. Make friends. Find yourself a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Go and travel that country. Get a job there. Uh, step out of your comfort zone and talk to the people on the street. Uh, accept the challenge. There are millions of options out there and I believe that you will find yours. I believe in you. Good luck. Bye.